welcome back to another recipe. Today, I will be showing you guys one of the best oxtail recipe. This one right here is made with love. After watching this recipe, I guarantee you, you will want to make this recipe. So keep on watching. After seeing those beautiful pictures, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you can see more recipes like this one. Also, hit the bell. That's how you will know whenever I upload a brand new video. Without further ado, let's get started. This right here is my oxtail. I cleaned it with lime and vinegar and salt and I let it sit in the salt water for about one hour. Now I have tomatoes, yellow onion, minced ginger, I have thyme leaves, parsley, I'll be adding some minced garlic, I'll be adding some salt, I will be adding two packets of the Goya um, Sasson. Also, we have soy sauce with the W sauce. The measurement, guys, will be down below, so be sure to check that out. I'll be adding in adobo seasoning, red bell pepper, green bell pepper with some scallion, and of course, I'm adding some ground black pepper, okay? And also, you will be needing half of a lime you can use half of a lemon as well if you don't if you don't have lime now it's time to marinating the oxtail i will be adding my salt and then i'll be adding some ground black pepper like i told you guys all the time fresh ground black pepper is the best thing ever it's just you can actually taste the pepper compared to the pre-made ground pepper okay now I am adding about one teaspoon adobo seasoning in there then I'll be adding in my minced garlic next we'll be adding the parsley now I'm adding the soy sauce about one teaspoon the double U sauce about one teaspoon as well now I will be adding my thyme leaves in there with the minced ginger now you can chop or mince your gender ginger finer if you like but mine's what Mines were a little too big. Now I'm adding one packet of the Sazon Goya brand um, seasoning in there. And later I'll be adding the other one, okay? Here I'm adding half of a lime juice in there. Like I said, don't be afraid to season this oxtail. Trust me guys, you will not regret it. Now the lime juice will give it a nice kick, a very nice kick. Definitely don't skip the lime juice. Now give it a mix. Now we're going to mix it together just like that. And then I will be adding in half of a Maggie cube. Now you do not have to use it. This is very optional, okay? It's like a chicken bouillon cube. Or if you don't have it, you can use poultry seasoning to replace it, but it's not an option. You don't have to use it if you don't have it. Then I'll be adding in my vegetables. My tomato, onion, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, scallion. Just add that in there. Now, once you add it in there, mix it really good with the meat, okay? Mix it really good. Once we place it in the fridge, so our veggies could start producing the natural flavor. Once you remove it from the fridge, you shall see more water at the bottom of the bowl because all of the onion, the tomatoes, they produce more water, okay? That's what's gonna get into the oxtail and give it that 
super tender, super delicious taste we're looking for. Now here in my Dutch pot, I will be adding in about two tablespoons of olive oil. Now I am going to braise it, okay? I am going to browning the oxtail. So I added about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now the brown sugar, you have to pay attention to it. Really carefully, we're going to cook the brown sugar until it start giving you like a light brown color. Don't let it get dark. Otherwise, your oxtail will be extremely bitter. Okay, don't burn it. Just caramelize it until it gives you that kind of dark brown than it is now okay it's not going to be extremely dark brown it, it has to be a very nice color like a caramel color and then we will be placing our oxtail in there now like i said be careful so you don't burn it if you burn it start over okay if you burn it start over you don't want to make bitter oxtail Now I am going to place my oxtail in there. Now we're going to browning the oxtail. What you're looking for is a really dark color on the oxtail, okay? That's the color you're looking for. You know, anything, any meat you're cooking, if you don't braise it, the flavor is not going to be there, okay? That's what gonna help brings out the flavor when you braise it give it a nice browning color and it looks really good as well compared to a, just a regular white meat when you're done cooking it you will see a beautiful color on there so that's why we are browning our oxtail and what the sugar will do is give it that browning color as well and trust me it will not be sweet a lot of you guys probably think, oh, it's going to be sweet. I don't want sweet oxtail. No, you're not going to taste the sweetness at all, okay? So just add two tablespoons of that brown sugar in. You will not taste the sugar. It will not be sweet. So once both sides are nice and brown, I am going to remove it, okay? Now, as you guys can see my dutch pot a little too small so i have to do like two batches to get all of them brown Once I am done removing all my oxtail, I will be adding my veggies in there. Now I forgot a few oxtail, that's okay. <laughs> Just add it in there. Now you can fry your veggies if you want. I always skip that step, it doesn't really do anything in my opinion. And then I'll be adding in my oxtail in the pot just like that look at that juice yes and the oxtail already looking delicious like already but it's not done yet of course now i am going in with four cups of water now oxtail take a long time to cook so you need enough water to make sure it it's, it's cooked through okay so i am going to add in four cups four cups of water in there just like that and of course you can add more seasoning if you want to the only thing i had to add in was just pepper okay now here you need some tomato paste to give it a beautiful color as well so i'll say add about two tablespoons of tomato paste just add that in there give it a stir just like that now you can also make this in a pressure cooker where you don't have to keep going and look at it it will cook faster too because oxtail take a long time to cook now this is about halfway of the cooking process mine took about four hours yours might take longer or less so mine i cook it on medium low 
and just it I wasn't really worried about how long it cooks because I woke up early to cook this but once it is done this is what it looks like so juicy so tender and full of flavor now oxtail do have some fat on the skin so it will produce a lot of grease I tried to remove as much as I could and this is what I have left okay a beautiful oxtail okay it just looks so good it, the colors just and the meat were so tender as you guys can see it's falling off already it was so tender and I forgot to mention guys I did add a whole scotch bonnet pepper in there I'm not sure if I mentioned it but I did I'm not sure if I show it in the beginning because I didn't say it but I know I did add a whole scotch bonnet pepper in there oh my god guys this right here is the best oxtail ever I guarantee you you can make this make it at home guys you will thank me later thank you for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up for me guys help me out give the video a thumbs up if you, oh my god look at that look at that guys tell me this doesn't look appetizing oh geez now don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me subscribe if you're watching island vibe for the first time i do bring delicious recipe here every day for you and tell a friend about my channel so they can come subscribe and make delicious recipe at their house as well easy recipe made simple at home okay thank you for watching guys i really truly appreciate every single one of you guys and i will see you guys on my next video bye yum